is the Cron 4 Morning News. What's happening here, ladies and gentlemen? Rick Hackett of Bossa Nova. Look busy. Come on. Thank well, you. Rick Hackett of, Bo of Bossa Nova Restaurant. Bocanova. Jack Bocanova, yeah. No, Bossa Nova. I thought you guys did Well, we do that on, on Friday nights. The uh, Bocanova Restaurant, sorry, uh, is uh, going to be demonstrating for us how to create a beautiful Yucatan seafood stew. And that's going to be coming up on Prime 4 News Weekend. Let's uh, head on back out to Henry. Hi, Henry. Good morning. Good morning. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Rick Hackett of Bucanova Restaurant will peel a tomato. Tomato concasse. Now, how'd you do that? You just stick it in boiling water mm -hmm. for about 10 seconds. A lot of people will throw it into ice. Yeah. I prefer not to because water dilutes the flavor. And then uh, you just core it, and the peel will come right off. Just slips right off. Like uh, like a diaper off a baby. Yeah. Oh, what a poor choice of words. Uh, <laughs> anyway, this is all part <laughs> of Rick's Yucatan seafood stew, one of the specialities of his restaurant. He's going to be preparing it for us coming up on Cron 4 News Weekend. Nice peel. Yeah. <laughs> See how easy that is? Now, that is a well peeled tomato. Thank you. You've done a heck of a job on that. Well, I've done a lot of them over my lifetime. <laughs> I guess so. Uh, Rick Hackett. Chef, he is the chef at Boca, you said Boca Nova? Boca Nova. Boca Nova restaurant in Jack London Square, sort of a pan uh, Amer Latin Pan fusion. American kitchen. Yeah, a little uh, fusion of European and. Uh, well, what don't you include? Uh, <laughs> well, see, this, this is the great thing about Pan America. Uh, I, it's celebrating the new world ingredients that influenced uh, worldwide cuisine, right. especially Mediterranean. If you think about uh, peppers, Tomatoes. tomatoes all came from Peru, I think, is where they originated. Uh, I think now. Right. Potatoes. Yeah. Beans. Think about where the world would be without the New World. I mean, exactly. The, what, they'd everyone be eating gruel. Right. Which, so which I eat on a regular basis. It's good for you. But so anyway, I guess we should get started cooking. Here. <laughs> so yeah. You're going to make a Yucatan seafood stew. Seafood stew, which is uh, <clears throat> the the one of the main ingredients in the Yucatan stew is using citrus. So grapefruit and lime juice, which uh, oh. <clears throat> I don't know if the, in the recipe, when which is online by the way in news links on cron4.com. Um, we're getting the pan hot here, so we can start with some garlic. Uh, <clears throat> at the restaurant, what we do is we make a base, mm -hmm. which includes uh, the the uh, onions, garlic, the citrus, a little bit of tomato, fish stock, you know, right. get that all made, which we have prepared, and then to order. We actually take, we saute the fish with, uh, you know, some scallops. We have fish marinated with some uh, paprika and some chili, dried chili. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> then we have clams and mussels. And then I've added shrimp and scallops. I mean, you can pretty much do anything you want in the, yeah. uh, in the stew. So uh, this is paprika, but you, what you've done is paprika and? A little bit of garlic, a little bit of cayenne. Mmm, smells wonderful. Okay, is this thing, yeah, that's working, yeah. okay. <laughs> uh, um, we're working with an induction uh, stovetop here, which is a little, little tricky, but it's actually working quite well. Yeah. A little bit of it's garlic. Not bad. A little bit of garlic. I like to take it, we'll see if we can get some heat, but I like to take it to uh, where it's just, browning. just ever so slightly starts browning. Mm -hmm. You know, you're told by the old Italians th uh, that uh, you never want to brown garlic, but I think it, it brings out the flavor. Why do the old Italians say that? Do they think it loses, that it becomes a little bitter? Yeah. That's, yep. Yeah. Yep. Um, but but that's adds, that adds a little sort of a panache, which I is think, not an Italian word. Exactly. So you can see a browning right there. Yeah. That's when I throw in my tomatoes. Okay. And you get that wonderful sound. Oh, yeah. Is this too hot, by the way? Nope. You like this? Yeah. Because we're working, we're working at big heat here. Yeah. Um, now this is an heirloom, it looked like an heirloom you were using. It was an heirloom from uh, my favorite farm in Nicasio, All Star Organics. Uh, I work with this uh, Marty Jacobson and uh, we go through seed catalogs in the winter time and he'll grow special oh, your peppers, kid. he'll grow you have a, a custom farm. Yeah. It's, wow. It's, does he deliver? He does. To us? <laughs> <laughs> I know he delivers to you. It, 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 he's wonderful and he's, we just planted a whole uh, like two acres of uh, fresh shelling beans. Heirloom shelling beans oh. that'll come online at Bocanova in about uh, two weeks, three wow. weeks. Now, see okay. the tomato. See how it's reducing? Yep. And it's uh, you know that's 
the water is going away. So the, are you going to take it down to a complete reduction? No, that, that's about where I want to go. Mm -hmm. um, and then this is where what we'll do is we'll throw in our base. Just the base. And again, the recipe for the base is on our website, cronford.com. Go to news links. Um, and then you scramble it. I love these websites. Go to news links. Then, you know, five minutes later, you're hitting the buttons and eventually you right. find it. <laughs> right. Or you could probably do a search under uh, Boca Nova, B O C A N O V A. Yeah. And that would work. I'm going to throw in a little bit of white wine, Tarantes, which is a uh, great variety from Spain mm -hmm. that's become quite popular in Argentina. This is, Ar this is Argentinian wine, yeah. actually. The way they make good wines in Argentina, I speak from personal experience on that. This is a great wine for uh, spicy food. So this is a, a Torrantes. What is the characteristic of the Torrantes? Sort of uh, very similar to a Muscat. Mm -hmm. It's okay. sort of flowery, has yeah. some peach qualities to it, but, uh, it, but it's dry. But it has that sweet fruit to it, right. which offsets the... Okay, now we got about a minute 30. Okay. We're going to make it, because this is always the challenge of cooking on television, is trying to get this all done. But even if we don't, ladies and gentlemen, it's going to look lovely. Um, where, do you, where do you get seafood? Do you have the supplier? <coughs> I get my seafood from uh, Monterey Fish mm -hmm. and uh, Osprey in the city. Mm -hmm. um, and so, so now what we want to do is poach the seafood, let the mussels uh, open up, yeah. the clams open up, and then you know the broth sort of thickens a little bit. This works pretty well for an induction oven. Yeah, <laughs> they're very good, they're, uh, actually. Stove top. The sh chefs don't usually like working with, induction ovens are a whole other thing. They work by this strange magnetic process of heating the cookware and not the, right. not the stove top. See, um, at Bocanova, I use flat tops, the French flat tops, instead of burners. Really? Yeah, I, I much prefer that because you can move your pan around to where the greatest heat is. So if you need it really fast, you move it right. to the center. If you just need to simmer something, you move it to the cool. side. Uh, and that's what I love. And induction sort of does, offers the same thing. Yeah. And see, it is coming up to a boil pretty okay. quickly. Well, here's the deal. We're not going to be able to quite finish this because poaching is not television friendly. It takes yeah. a while. But we're going to let Rick continue to do this because we didn't bring him all this way so he couldn't eat the food. We're going to have him finish it up. Later in the program, I am going to taste test this. Okay. Okay? And uh, we'll, get all the, we'll get all the nuances of the flavor. But it is a Bocanova restaurant. And, uh, or Bossa Nova, as I said before. Well, we do uh, a lot of Bossa Nova there. <laughs> uh, and they're located in Jack London Square, which is a hot spot for food. Yeah. Thank you very much. And uh, we'll, uh, to be continued, Dean. Marty, uh, what do you think? Hmm? Well, I oh, think, Henry, fun. that you've oh, gone yeah. above and beyond willing to uh, t wait a couple minutes before you actually have to taste it. Looks delicious. Very well, good. I might actually taste it before we get back on the <laughs> air, but uh, I'm going to officially do it later. All right. Thanks a lot, Henry. We'll see you in there. Before we get to all that, though, let's uh, check in with Henry. Good morning, Henry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Remember, we promised <laughs> that we would be tasting Rick Hackett's fabulous, um, it's a... Um, Yucatan stew. And let me tell you, you can eat this stew, you can tan the stew, you can do anything you want with it. It is fabulous. Uh, and we're going to be sharing it with our other guests who are standing by, Les Chambers and his and his son Dylan. Yo. Now this guy over here, sing sing a famous line for me, please. Time has come today. That, that Chambers, you <laughs> <laughs> sharing his memories, or well, actually not exactly his memories of Woodstock, but his almost memories. Yeah. We'll be telling you about that, and also with him, uh, the uh, drummer for Sly and the Family Stone, who has an interesting story from Woodstock as well. So we'll be doing a little eating, a little talking. That's all coming up in a matter of time. Thank you, Henry.